Howdy friends, Greg here. Hope you are having a wonderful Veterans Day, and I wanted to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of the veterans out there who have served our country, including my grandfather, and my father-in-law, and my uncle, and many of my friends, and my family. Thank you so much for your service. It is greatly appreciated. Also, I want to take this opportunity to show you a brief clip from a video that I filmed a few months ago in Pensacola about the USS Enterprise. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, behind me is the exhibit that I've been looking for. It's the exhibit for the Enterprise CV-6, the most decorated ship of World War II. She earned 19 battle stars throughout all of World War II, and if it wasn't for the Enterprise, the world would be a lot different today. She was the first aircraft carrier in the history of the U.S. Navy awarded the Presidential Unit Citation and the most decorated ship of World War II. Such was the longevity of her service that airplanes from her deck were in the air over Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941 and participated in the first raid by carrier aircraft on the Japanese home island in February 1945. Built around a stunning model of the carrier, this exhibit displays hardware from the ship, as well as personal memorabilia from the men of the Big E. The Enterprise was the first aircraft carrier to start doing night missions, at which point she was renamed the CVN-6, an N standing for night. Now the Enterprise also went by several nicknames, including the Galloping Ghost, the Grey Ghost, the Lucky E, but probably the most well-known would be the Big E. And this is the only porthole to survive the scrapping of the Enterprise in 1958. And this is a ready room chair. I don't want you touching this one though. And this casing is all that remains from one of the last shells fired from the forward gun mount aboard the Enterprise. Sadly, the Enterprise did not have a glorious end. She was decommissioned in 1947 and scrapped in 1958. And I noticed they've got the Battle 360 series playing over here on the wall. If you want to learn a lot about the Enterprise, that's the series to do it from. And this was the successor to the CVN-6 Enterprise, the CVN-65 Enterprise. And currently, she's being scrapped as well. And I don't believe the next Enterprise is set for sale until 2022, I believe, and it's going to be the CVN-80.